horses, you know what they their are? Teachers. Their movement, their looks. Vigor and pride and life. They represent family for sure. They know me. They're my I friend. Don't know what I'd do if I didn't have horses. I just feel so free when I'm sitting on the back of one. Horses were always more as a tool. As saddle makers, when we get together, we talk about, well, I don't know how you could build a saddle if you don't ride. There's a lot of women that do ranch work, cowboy work. Here in the West, it isn't really so much a women's lib thing. It was a survive. Here's my deal. I want to see the world. And that's the most beautiful thing to me ever. And if you have a horse, and you can ride, you can see the world. Women want to feel accepted, loved, and appreciated, and they want to feel beautiful. Every woman. I don't care who you are. Most, like, makeup is dirt <laughs> kind of horse girls like me, and perfume is sweat. Do not like boys. Even the teenagers that rode at my barn. All of us. <laughs> At this stage in my life, um, I'm still able to lift a 25-pound saddle. <laughs> so, if I hadn't had both hips replaced, I could walk over there. <laughs> well, I have my golf cart. I grew up in a, like, I don't want to say ghetto, but like inner city. Riding horses is very unusual. Where I come from, they call me weird. I get everything out of riding horses. Luke, to me, is my other half. Their eyes tell you a lot. Their ears tell you a lot. I would sob and sob and sob, and he, he would say, Rachel, I don't understand. He's an animal. The boy that I marry will have to love horses, or else I just won't marry him. Some people feel that you're pushing your luck. I'm just going to keep riding until I decide I can't. 